All right, so for Gigmaster's leads, you're going to get a little text notification. You can also this also happens on the um, computer on the email. So, but you can do everything. I find it's actually kind of easier on the phone because you can text them and also answer within the Gigmaster's site. So you're going to get this like at the top here where it says, whoops. So it says you have a Gig Masters lead right here at the top. You click on that. At the bottom it gives you, it says please respond here it's for that specific gig. So I click on that. It's going to bring up the website, log you in automatically. And then you're going to want to go down and read the gig to make sure that it's appropriate for us. And the faster you respond, the I tend to find that the more likely we get these gigs. So this one's saying that it's a wedding reception uh, 2015 Convention Center, South Padre Island, five hours. So, so I scroll down, and I'm going to say submit quote. Hope you can see this. I'm going to get as close as I can. Okay, let's see. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay. All right. So now I submit quote. Now I'm going to scroll down here, and I find it's important to address them by their first name. So I got their name up here. It says Amanda, client name. And you'll see this when you go through it. And I'm looking at their notes. It says, wedding will be formal black tie attire. I want my guests to be up and dancing the whole time. I want some Tejano. So you can kind of use that, any kind of notes they have to determine whether this is appropriate for us or not. Now don't enter anything in the rate, but uh, down, keep going down. And let's see, I'm going to turn it here so it might be easier for me to do this. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go, now they're asking for a band, so I'm just going to go ahead and put six players. Done. And this personal message here, that's where you're going to go to your notes. And I've got some pre-designed text. So up here, it's a gig masters. There's one down here for, for sending them a text. There's one here for sending within the... Gig Masters environment. So I'm going to select that one first. And I'm going to also address them by their first name. So I'm going to go back to the, it says type personal message. Be sure to address any of their questions. So first thing I'm going to say is, whoops, I'm going to use Siri. Hi, Amanda, comma. And then I'm going to paste in my stock response. And I'm going to go done, and then I go down here, and uh, it's going to say personal website that I'm sending them. I want to make sure that that site's appropriate, so I'll go over here. Dance Variety Band, that's definitely the right one, because they were wanting music for the reception. And this number here, it says phone number, email address, should be my number. So even though you're going to be getting texts of these. So then what I do is I submit quote, and at this point, after we submit quote, you're actually going to get their, their phone number. And so if you scroll down, now we're going to send them a text. So actually I'll go, go back to my notes and grab the text. Hi, this is Will Taylor. I just sent you a response through Gigmasters about your event. You have a few minutes to discuss just that much. They give me a ring, so or suggest a few times that work for you. Okay, so you're going to be sending it from your phone. All right, so did I copy that? I think I did. Go back to Safari. Now down here you can see is their phone number. Remember, you can put this on full screen if it's hard to see, if it helps you. So I'm going to click, I'm going to hold down their phone number. And I might want to actually in the message address their date. So I'm going to click that send message and text them so 423 so i'll put this stock message in there and it says here through gig masters about your event on i'm going to put on so it makes it real tailored on 423 i could always siri that to the, i might maybe i'll just say yeah, in april 2000 in april did it, was it really 2015? Let's look at it again. Oh, 
or is it 2016? Hold on. Let me go back to that. It says 2015, the 23rd. So this one's already passed. Today is the 24th. But I'll use this as the example. So anyway, so yeah, I would send message, put that in there, tailor it to their date, April, and send it. And then if they write back and want to talk to you, just make sure that you refer them to my phone number. And, and, and you can just refer them anytime. They're either going to leave a message or they're going to catch me in person. And uh, Jennifer, you could send me a text after this saying, hey, uh, just something like heads up, possible bid coming through, possible client calling you, just to let me know. Okay, that's how we do Gig Masters. And uh, um, we're probably going to have a follow-up video on sort of how to go back into the Gig Masters site and do more follow-up because uh, we want to keep apprised of these gigs. Um, a lot of them just kind of fall by the wayside and they need lots of follow-up. Um, one other thing uh, that I want to mention is if you send a text and you get a response from them immediately and they're like, yes, I want to talk, um, you know, might want to just call me, give me a heads up that they're going to be, or just shoot me a text, like I said earlier, but you want to put these in SendPepper and uh, tag them with a tag that says wedding client, current wedding client, I think is what it's called, in SendPepper. Uh, put as much information in there as possible, their date, their phone number, their email address, name, so it's, I have it in SendPepper to work with. So that's a very important last step. Make sure these go into SendPepper. This is going to take a lot of time, and I'm going to kind of evaluate it over the next few months, whether um, you know it's we want to spend as much time kind of pursuing these leads or not. But I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, thanks, Jennifer. That's it.